Okay, so I was about to make some, a mug, a mug cake, and I was like, I need a cup of coffee with this. Ooh, I need to do that video. Bingo, right? Okay. So this is a, a way, if you're not familiar with what cowboy coffee is, I'll link a video below just so you're more familiar with it or watch someone else make it. But basically, I had to kind of figure this out on my own because this cowboy coffee that I learned off a YouTube video, it was just like so burnt. Like there's just, I don't know, I could never get it right, um, especially the, the measurements. So here's what I'm gonna show you how, what to do when you're making this kind of coffee. And it's gonna incorporate paper towels. I will show you in a moment what I mean, plus another hack if you run out of coffee filters for your machine. FYI, I have to do my coffee this way out of necessity because my husband accidentally broke the, uh, the, the Cara for the mug or whatever you call it, the glass one. So I have a coffee machine, but no pot, so. So what we're gonna do here is I already filled up um, one of these pots with uh, some water all the way to the top, probably about an inch and a half left from the water to the, the, the top of the pot. I'm gonna put it on medium heat, which is a four on my machine. I have, uh, my machine, my stove, I have a frigid air, if that helps any. Now, as far as the, the measurements go, what I found works for me is one fourth cup. Now in a pot this size, this gives me about two and a half cups of coffee. And I find that one fourth cup is a perfect measurement. It's not too much, it's not too little. It's not gonna make my coffee super tar-like. And it also will make it very weak where it, it just looks like watered down tea or something um, any any coffee will do I'm using this Don Francisco from Walmart because it was cheap so I'm gonna let this heat up for a little bit now in for my tip in my case how I learned how to do this and it comes out a great fresh cup of coffee is that I do not let it get to a rolling boil before I would let it get to a rolling boil so that way all the coffee sinks to the bottom. But by the time that happened, I had already burned the coffee. Either I had burned the coffee or I had just put too much coffee in here to begin with and it, the coffee tasted just awful, horrendous. And um, it really made me frustrated. So here, if you can see, the coffee is, it's, it's starting to get a little, a little wet because at first, you know, it kind of soaks in there and it's starting to look kind of like quicksand, if you know what I'm talking about. Like if you watch any movie in the world, the quicksand kind of always looks the same, right? So you're gonna kind of notice the, the dry coffee will eventually get wet and kind of go down. And then you do have to keep an eye on it, which I like to do this, and it's not really hard to do. Like if you're like right now I'm gonna bake, or if you're making breakfast in the morning, it's not hard to keep an eye on it. So right before you start seeing it roll over and boil is when you're gonna turn it off. So we'll, I'll come back to that in a moment. I'm not sure if you can see it. I'm trying to get a good angle of it. Um, this has been a few minutes now. And as you can see, it's, it's kind of like, it looks like a cake batter, you know, like when you're making brownies or something like that. So everything is wet, all the coffee grounds are wet. There, there was some steam coming up right now, and then of course, as I try to show you guys, like it stopped steaming. But it's starting to bubble just a little bit on the sides. When you start seeing bigger bubbles, let's see, let's, let me see if I can catch this on camera. Okay, see how it's starting to bubble more? And I'm gonna hear it. I can hear it rumbling from within, but it's not rumbling on top yet, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so here we go. This, this is what I'm talking about. So it's about to come up to a boil. So when you see it at this point, doing this on your coffee, here we go, see, it's, it's almost 360 with the bubbles. 
I'm just waiting for this part right here to rumble. There we go. So now that it's all full circle, bubbles all around, I'm going to turn it off and remove it from the heat. See, now there's steam. Then I'm just gonna let it sit for a few minutes before I filter it and enjoy my cup so of coffee. So now I am ready to use my trusty paper towels. Now, I don't know if this would work with the cheapest of the cheap paper towels. I'm thinking it would, but I always use like brawny or those, I think that's called Viva or Viva paper towels. I use two rectangle pieces and I put it in a, a strainer that I have. Okay, so now I'm just gonna get my coffee and I'm gonna pour it directly over this. See, and then it'll strain all the coffee grounds. And then, oh, I'm overflowing now. But here is my perfect cup of coffee. The paper towel filters it perfectly. I don't have any grounds that fall in my coffee. Like with the cowboy coffee, I would also get grounds in there. And that's just, it grosses me out. Like having that texture in my coffee, like no thank you. So this is absolutely fresh. It's not going to be burnt. If you follow my tips, it won't be burnt or super bitter considering the how much you're, you're planning on making. So let me also show you the hack real quick with the paper towels for your coffee filter. So same thing here, if you ever run out of coffee filters, what you can do with your machine, and I'm only gonna, I don't need to double it. Whoops, I'm sorry, I don't need to double it. So I'm just gonna get a paper towel, and I just kind of shove it in there like that. And then, you know, you, you put your, your coffee grounds and you make a coffee, and it'll work out just as good. This has saved my butt many times. The paper towel never rips so I don't get pieces of paper in my coffee. Like, it's so perfect. So that's another way you can make coffee. If you have no filters, paper towels, again, will save the day. And I just made um, a mug cake, kind of messy mug cake, but I will enjoy it with my fresh cup of coffee. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something.